official PMI figures for February are out today, and it's at a five-month low. What will it indicate? Honestly, we're not that worried with the PMI number. If you take an average of a Jan and Feb, that number still uh, is higher than the December number. So the recovery is there, but our belief always was that each of the large economies is going through its structural issues, whether it's uh, US, Europe, uh, China, India, and the recovery is going to be far more gradual this time around. So we're not worried. We remain constructive, but uh, not really outrightly bullish on markets. What are investors expecting from China's NPC meeting next week? Are they comfortable with the new leadership's reform approach, and how will the meeting impact markets? I think till now, whatever the sound bites we have got from the new leadership, they are reassuring. But we need to see more action, more action towards, let's say, interest rate liberalization, proper channelizing of capital in the economy, because clearly there is a belief that capital allocation has been a big issue with the economy. If we see from November onwards, the off-balance sheet growth has been slightly worrisome. I mean, Jan number was close to 25%. So you need to see proper allocation of capital in the economy. Outside that, you need to see a lot of, lot of steps to move from investment-based uh, growth to a more consumption-based growth through more tax rebates and uh, channelizing, again, uh, financial savings better uh, towards insurance products, which are long-term healthy products. How concerned are you about China's property markets? I think clearly uh, there's a bit of overheating uh, in that space, but it is not really extremely worrisome. I think gov government is fairly cognizant of that and they keep taking steps every now and then. So um, it's not really a big issue. What is the risk of a currency war breaking out as the yen continues to decline further and as Haruhiko Kurota is appointed BOJ governor? I think that's an issue we have to live with. Almost uh, everybody is trying to regain competitiveness through uh, currency devaluation. So clearly, um, I, I, I think uh, it's going to be a very thin line where uh, governments are going to allow some bit of a recovery through that. But if it just gets uh, too overbearing, then um, there would be a lot of noise on that.